ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. I am not going to talk in that voice for the rest of the movie, but Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, every, every, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are checking out the Santa Claus. This is a very weird movie for me because I've seen the third Santa Claus movie, the one with Jack Frost in it, but I've never seen the first two, so I thought why not check out the first movie today on my Christmas run. The first two Christmas movies I did, and I think they were going to be my last Christmas movies as well, Gremlins and then Krampus, so we got some kind of horror movies in there, and as you can probably tell, the Santa Claus I'm pretty sure is not a horror movie. I thought after two kind of scary Christmas movies, I would just kind of relax with the last Christmas movie of the season and just have a good time with the Santa Claus kind of like I'm hoping a comedy kind of a family movie maybe a feel-good movie by the end I don't really know what to expect other than Tim Allen is Santa Claus and I know he's good because I remember him being good in the third movie so I'm excited to see the origins of Tim Allen as Santa Claus in this one and before we get into this reaction let me do the lighting so let me turn the light we said what color it should be Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the lighting today, I am going to go red. I know I did red for all of my other Christmas movie reactions, so I'm so sorry if you were just done with the red lighting for Christmas, but I was thinking, should I go green for this one? But then I was like, Santa's outfit is really red, so why would I not go red. Plus I'm wearing this red shirt, which is, I don't really have any Christmas shirts right now because I'm at my dorm and not at home, but I ha have this red shirt and I think this is a good Christmas shirt. I don't know, you guys let me know. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. Thank you so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into this. I'm hoping this is just a really nice Christmas movie and that is all I want. I want to laugh, I want to smile, I want to feel good by the end of this thing. I want to see Tim Allen as Santa Claus and that's about it. So, I hope you enjoy my reaction to The Santa Claus. Oh, I love the music right now. The Santa Claus, baby. I like how we got two different fonts for the title. Marketing and distribution team, Scott Calvin yeah. and Susan Perry. Yeah, Scott and Susan, let's go dream team. Come on, come on up here. Aren't they adorable? Oh, he must be Scott. Or maybe his name's Susan. For this right now. It's probably why Johnson's secretary sit in his lap. <laughs> oh, wow. I ran real late today. You wouldn't believe the traffic out here. <laughs> there is no cars. And that's not very ladylike. <laughs> Maybe you can see invisible cars. Why is the music kind of dramatic at the moment? This song is always so dramatic for no reason. Who's this child? Hi. Hi. Danny, do you want to come in for a minute? Neil's waiting in the car, so. Why doesn't he come? Oh man. You just end up saying something snotty. Oh, he's divorced and there's a stepdad involved. Well, there aren't that many presents over there. Well, that's because Santa isn't here yet. Yeah, Santa comes tonight, child. He's smart. He's a doctor. He's not a doctor, Neil, he's a psychiatrist. Did Neil actually tell this child that there's no Santa? What kind of man bozo does that? Well, all he said was that Santa was more like a feeling. You know, more like a state of mind. Oh my god, Neil, you nugget-brained man. On reality. That's a good idea. You don't want kids running around using their imaginations. Oh yeah. No, you don't want imagination now, do we? Uh, I swear we're not fighting. It's your mom singing. Sounds a lot like fighting, doesn't it? <laughs> Cats, even. <laughs> no. He's kind of babyish to believe in that kind of stuff. Wow, he's so mature now. Things have changed. Do I gotta stay? Oh, wow. Oh, that would have hurt me so much if I was the dad. Really? Yes. We're talking sun up. You're here. <laughs> wow, this kid really doesn't want to go. The dad can't be that bad, right? Christmas. Your Christmas will be perfect. Like oh, I was going to say, there's no way he made that. They're probably having a TV dinner. On 34th Street, starring Natalie Wood. Oh man. And you know what though? He's trying. He's trying. That is exactly why you want a high quality fire extinguisher right in the kitchen. <laughs> Closed. You know, Neil's a real good cook. 
Yeah, and you should see. Can you stop talking about Neil? There's something about him that makes me want to lash him. out irrationally. Yes, exactly. Denny's Christmas Eve Denny's. Let's go. What are you talking about? Everybody likes Denny's. It's an American. I actually do not like Denny's. Denny's is disgusting. Oh, he's like soldier. Plain milk's fine. Oh okay. man. At least we know they got this kid is so disappointed. Man. Not on the lawn, there rose such a clatter. I sprang from my Okay, come on. This guy is trying though. This dad is trying. I said a rose such a clatter. It means it uh, came a big noise. What? He's like, I wanna go to sleep, kid. How do reindeer fly? They don't have any wings. It's magic. Their uh, antlers give them you know, the, the, there's a slipstream effect. The... <laughs> he sucks it in like grandpa. But what about people who don't have fireplaces? How does he get into their house? He breaks in through the window. Oh, Santa's going zoom in. Yeah. What? It's Santa. Come on, let's go back to bed. He's like, oh my god. Maybe it's Santa. Not now, Charlie. I want you to sit here. <laughs> now I want you to stay right. Oh, I love this so much. Do you know how to call 911? Sure, 911. Yeah. <laughs> I like this kid though. This kid's a genius secretly. How does Santa get in if there's no chimney? Just through the front door? Hey, you! What's that? No! No! <laughs> Tim Allen, you killed Santa Claus. Hey, buddy. No way he's dead. Charlie, would you listen to me? Stay up there. He is Santa. Was Santa. And he's not Santa. Well, he was. <laughs> Okay, he's a little alive. Whoa, the music is so magical right now. I love it. Oh, the man is gone. He evaporated. He disappeared. He became the snow. A Christmas spirit, some would say. Never do what I would do. Would you do. please be quiet for a minute so I can figure this out? Hope the kid puts the suit on. That is hard to explain. It's the ladder. Oh my god. Where the hell this That was a ladder jump scare. The Rose, such a ladder company. <laughs> there is no way. There is no way that is a thing. Here, let them deal with it, okay? <laughs> oh, it's Comet. <laughs> Oof. Was it animatronic reindeer? Sure there is. You said you believed in Santa, right? I did? Yeah, you did. A gift. Probably from the cable company. Well, yeah, sure. That makes sense. Let's go! <laughs> oh god, they're just falling. Kamikaze reindeers. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Imagine seeing that. The real Santa Claus. Take the toys down the chimney into a strange house in my underwear. Yeah, why not? Gotta put the suit on first. You know what we're gonna do. You think you like just automatically become Santa Claus? Like you morph into the suit with the suit on? Well, how do I look? He looks pretty good, to be honest. There's a list. Oh. oh, what the heck? It's okay, I'm used to it. I lived through the 60s. <laughs> oh my god. It's a pretty nice house, cannot lie. Who's down there? <laughs> up the chimney, go up the chimney. <laughs> The CGI in this movie is so goofy, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> what a getaway. Only one house away. There's nothing in the bag. <laughs> Even if there was. He's like, how dare you steal all the presents. But like I said, there is nothing left. 
That's so cool. You hear me? No chimney, all right? Looking good, Dad. Oh my God, there's no way. <laughs> it just makes a fireplace, redecorate the home. Santa? Scott Calvin. <laughs> Santa's replacement, Santa died. I love this so much. I love salty Santa. I am lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just put the kayak down. Just put the kayak down. <laughs> oh, that is so adorable. The music is kind of epic. We're done, Comet. Oh, oh, oh. Back to the house. Yeah, the North Pole house. Cat scan. <laughs> Did he say he's getting a cat scan because he thinks he's hallucinating all of this? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, rogue spot, guys. Where's the house? Of the night. Wait, can they hear that? It's the North Pole! Wait, why is this kind of epic? Why is the music so good in this movie? This is so cool! Stay here. I like that they got kids as the elves, actually. That's really smart. Are we on a coffee break? We don't drink coffee. Then I guess the break is over. <laughs> I like this guy. Hmm. The other Santa disappeared, right? Just Wait, idiot man. You should know this. Not as good as my wife, but let's not open up that wound. Hold on a minute. Oh, oh, oh. I love Tim Allen. He's so funny in this. Check it up, Charlie. So funny if he dropped it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. But I was thirsty and hungry. <laughs> Is that just a giant statue of a penguin? Yeah, there are many statues of penguins. Read it, right? So when you put on the suit, he fell subject to the Santa Claus. Here. This oh my god, the Santa Claus? There is no way they are doing this. ...abilities of Santa Claus in perpetuity until such time that where it becomes unable to do so. That is so cheeky of them. I'm gonna Santa Claus, so now you're Santa, okay? A question. What? When can I get out of here? And do I get paid? The list to your house. What list? Come on, a list. The naughty and nice list. If I don't buy into this Santa Claus thing, what if I choose not to believe it? I like the reluctant Santa. Then all these elves are gonna come and kill you in your sleep, so you better watch out. No <laughs> a lot of pretty cool sets in this movie. Oh my days. Aww. Okay, to fall asleep though, I would kick that train. It's so loud. Or that puppet show as well. I'd be like, shut up. I'm trying to sleep. Santa? Scott Calvin. I love how his name is Scott Calvin and it's also Santa Claus, S-C-S-C. -S -C. That's so cool. Why did I not know that earlier? Why is she dressed as a wizard elf? Hmm. It's good. This is really good. Yeah, it took her 1,200 years to perfect it. Chocolate. Shaken, not stirred. Oh my god, a James Bond reference. This movie is made for grown-ups as much as it is for kids. Polar bear directing traffic down there? <laughs> I, I see it. Like, look at this world. It's so insane looking. To know that it's here. They just... No. Aww. That's so sweet, actually. That looks like the comfiest bed of all time. Interesting that they're home now, so they're transported home. And I bet he's gonna start to forget about this, and then in 11 months, some the elf Bernard is gonna knock on his door. But look at his pajamas. He still has the SC pajamas. Imagine how cold your feet would be if you did that. Are you having a heart attack? <laughs> I know CPR. Uh, I, just... I love this kid. 
Hey, say my initials as your name, Dad. That's what I'm saying. Oh. oh, one of Santa's little helpers. Last night, Dad and me went with the... This woman seems so snotty. This... Gee, thanks for keeping his feet on the ground. You bet. Oh my god, let the kid have an imagination. So, uh, what have you been telling him? Nothing. Why are you always trying to pick a fight? Just let it happen. Oh, wait, wait. Judy was the name of the waitress at the restaurant last night. Oh my god, you're right, you're right. Charlie, we'll discuss this at home. <laughs> I don't like these two. I sleep naked! Fuck! Naked! Ah! Morning, Mr. McGloin. Mary Catherine. <laughs> oh my god. I think the whole class will join me in saying sorry about your part. Oh my god. This movie, man. This movie. One day a year. <laughs> not what I mean, Dad. The tough audience. Stupid the elves do. Bobby, yeah. we don't say stupid. And we don't okay. say elves. Idiot. If I want to be Santa Claus, all I gotta do is push you off a roof. Or he's... You know what? He's not wrong. That's right, because Charlie thinks that this whole thing actually happened. Scott. It kind of did. Charlie did. Before you went to bed Christmas Eve. Ecstasy. I already told you, we did not go to the North Pole. That was a dream. You're in denial, Dad. You're in denial, he's little Gordon Ramsay. You can't let them down. Charlie, you're wrong. No, Charlie's right. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so good. Is this Alvin and the Chipmunks remix? The North Pole South. Is bad wearing a red hat and galoshes. I don't care what Neil's doing. Where's Charlie? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Visit all the children of the world. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. Not that's true. Turns into Jello and the fireplace kind of appears and goes through it like this. Yep, yeah, it's exactly what happens. That was scientifically accurate. Well, I haven't. Have you ever seen a million dollars? No. Oh. You ever seen a million dollars? No. This kid is roasting this man. Really? Boy. Mm. Appreciate your analysis, I really do. <laughs> Charlie, there there is no No what, Dad? Don't say it! Do people oh, you mean like a secret? Yes. Like a secret. Let's keep it secret. Okay, okay, I like this. He's not denying Santa Claus's existence. That is five bucks, honey. You're gonna bribe your kid to stop talking about Santa Claus? Okay, Dad. All right, great. But give me my five bucks, please. So when do I get the five bucks? That's what I'm saying. This kid knows what he wants. Mm. <sighs> oh my God, he has a beard. Hmm? Oh my God, he has a gut. Can you imagine waking up like this? Oh, days. That would be so scary. Um. The dry cleaner in my neighborhood went up in smoke. Some Why is everyone so mean? He just gained a couple pounds. Well, maybe a 10 or 20 or 30 pounds. And I'll have a Caesar, no dressing. And one of those homemade cookies, the warm chocolate chip. Oh my God, he's just really wanted a cookie. Anything to drink? <sighs> Ice cold milk. Yes, he is becoming Santa. Why is everyone so mean? Let the man eat. You can start your business talk while he eats. This time, he's going total tank. In a tank. Yeah, Santa's bringing war to every country. Oh, it's coming! Oh. And another thing, but what about the reindeer? It'd be so fun to watch a movie where Santa just goes war mode. Calvin, I guess Violet you don't Knight believe in Santa, do you? It, Calvin. Fighting Calvin. David Harper Santa Claus movie. I don't know what's happening to you. You're starting to look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, the Santa Claus is brainwashing him. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to work off this weight. I think it's magic weight. Okay. Hmm? Watch, he's gonna be super fit. Pete, what's happening to me? Oh, what's your diet like? Milk and cookies? Really? That would be why. Thanks, buddy, it happens. And with that body, you should be thankful you have hair. Oh, wow. Dude, his heart sounds like a drum. Oh. 
No, it sounds like a disco party. This kid is so cute. I want some ballet slippers. <laughs> she knows what she wants. This this girl is getting places in the future. I'm not done. Fax me. Hi. Hey, this probably looks pretty odd, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really bad. Uh, you let him stay. I'll go. You don't get your act Hello. Are they just on the soccer pitch right now, guys? Hi there. Hi. I got a delivery for SC. Oh, is the list? That is a lot of packages. He looks weirder than the beard now. I have to say. What do with all these packages, guys. Come on. It's your job, you gotta start filling them out. How do you know about every kid? Dreams, playboy. Hmm? Naughty. Why even bother shaving? Oh! That was a really cool effect. Charlie? Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? It's okay, honey. They're gonna make Charlie like never be able to see his dad again. They're gonna try and take him away from Scott now. I mean, what was so bad about Charlie believing in Santa? Nothing. Oh, I got dozens of presents. Oh, I got everything except mystery date. That's so you knew he wasn't real. And it was an Oscar Mayer weenie whistle. You were three. And that's when I stopped believing. You were three? How do you even remember that? How do you even remember that, you liar? It's all okay. I told the judge everything. Oh no. About you in the North Pole. After That's not good, Charlie. Pending a hearing after the first of the year. Oh my god. Oh my days. This movie definitely does dabble in adult stuff, whether it's adult-related jokes or things like this. Now uh, you're right, son. Neil needs to get a life. He needs to get a whole new life. Boy, this bird is dry. Haven't you people heard of- Oh, yes! He's back! If, uh... Are they all gone? This is our perpetrator. Oh my god, now it's a kidnapping. LPL's build a new sleigh. We're trying for a vertical takeoff. Well, got- That'd be pretty sweet. Fireplaces will no longer be a problem. They used to be a problem. The Santa's used to get burned alive. He looks like an astronaut about to go to space. Oh, that's actually kind of sad though. Neil actually does have some form of heart. Turn to your right. There's none of them. Why would it... Compact desk. No. Cookie Cocoa Dispenser. Oh, that's amazing. Is this that same house with the girls sleeping? Why don't you sleep on the... You, what the moment you say? Why don't you sleep on your bed? I think the milk's a little sour. It's soy milk. Oh, she remembered. Thanks for remembering. Go to sleep. Oh, that's so nice of her. Merry Christmas, sir. A little bit of chills. Oh, that was so sweet. They are going to get absolutely busted. Freeze! Oh no. Let him go! Let Santa go! Santa has broken into the house that is a crime. <laughs> millions of houses. He has committed millions of crimes every year. Well, time to deploy ELFS. What's that? Let's go! Oh my god, it's like they're secret agents. Santa Claus. Name? Père Noël. <laughs> we have come to save you. <laughs> I would flip out if I saw that. I would need to go to a mental hospital or something. You're the Calvin boy. These elves are about to start blasting. I bet they brought shotguns. Get the Santa. Elves with attitude. 
Oh, that was pretty hard. Charlie. There's just so much. How are you? How are you all? And how did you get out of prison? You, me, your mom. Neil. And Neil. <laughs> that was so hard for him to say. You gave me a wonderful gift, Charlie. You believed in me when nobody else did. You're the least, the least selfish person I know. Santa Claus. You really are Santa Claus. Oh, she believes. Huh? Oh my God. <laughs> He's like, I'm in a family of crazies. Scott. Neil? Oh, the bell, the whistle thing. Santa? Oh, he's a child again. And I want you to come and see Charlie as often as you can. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, what's going on here? Hey, how are you going? It's nothing, Bernard. I'm just... What's he eating? Like a burrito? Relax. I'll explain it to you later. Neil is going absolutely crazy. <laughs> I forgot the police were still about to storm the house. Freddy, up the chimney! Tip, look up there. Ah, look at that. What if the radios just got shot in the sniper? Bam, 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 bam. That would be insane. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye, Dad. Merry Christmas to all. And to all a good night. You're just denying your inner child. <laughs> Aw. No. I think I'm going to go into the family business. <laughs> he's gonna push his dad off the roof when he's like 25 so he could be he becomes Santa Claus. I butchered that so hard. Aww. Mom, stupid ball's not working. I bet he's inside. Feet up on the table. Relax. Of course, it's up to your mom. Please, mom. No, that's unsafe. Hi. I swear, the music is so epic. Oh, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. That is the Santa Claus. And that was my reaction to the Santa Claus, the 1994 Christmas movie starring Tim Allen, who was so fun in this movie. Eric Lloyd, who was also amazing as Charlie, I thought he did a really good job. David Krumholtz, Wendy Crewson, Judge Reynold, and Paige Tamada. I really enjoyed this Christmas movie and it definitely took more turns than I thought it was going to for a movie like this, for a family movie. It was definitely gauged more towards adults as well as kids in terms of the jokes, especially the jokes that Tim Allen says. A lot of them may go over kids' heads, but I thought they were so funny. You know, this movie deals with divorced parents. It deals with child separation and stuff like that. It is just a really fun movie. And it is a movie that I think adults can enjoy. At least I enjoyed as much as I think a kid's going to enjoy this movie. I think a kid's going to take a very different meaning from this movie. And I think a kid is going to watch this movie in a very different way. But I really like that this movie kind of bridges the line between adult family entertainment and kids family entertainment very, very well. And I can see both parties having a blast watching this movie. Again, I thought Tim Allen was amazing in this movie. I thought Eric Lloyd was a really great child actor. I don't think he was that bad. I thought he was a pretty good addition to this movie and obviously the whole movie kind of hinders on the relationship or I guess hinders is the wrong word, hinges on the relationship between Tim Allen and Eric Lloyd because it's father's son there. And I think it does a pretty good job and I think both of them together do a really good job. I really like the world. I thought some of the effects were good. I thought a lot of the effects were very dated, but you know what? It's a Christmas movie from 1994. I don't really care. I'm not gonna judge it too hard. I thought there were some cool animatronics though. The sets I thought were awesome and the music just went so hard for no reason and we'll get into that a little bit later. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the reviews of this movie really quickly and then I'm going to talk about the score of this movie and then just generally things that I liked about this because I did think this was a really good Christmas movie. I can see why they made two more. I, I 
remember liking the third movie, although it has been about 10 years since I've watched the third movie, I do remember liking it. So I don't know if these movies necessarily go down in quality. Maybe they do a little bit. I know there's also a TV show that came out this year. Maybe it's a movie or something, but there is a Santa Claus movie or TV show called The Santa Clauses that came out this year with Tim Allen that just came out actually as well. So they're still kind of making movies or TV shows and stuff with the franchise. They're still using the IP. And I mean, it feels like a fairly strong one. You got Tim Allen as Santa Claus and the first movie is actually a pretty good Christmas movie. Okay, yeah, so the score for this movie, 6.5 out of 10 is the audience score on IMDb and 73% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is the critic score. And I've got to say, 6.5 out of 10 is actually a very low score. Maybe it's because it's a Christmas movie and people usually are like harsh on Christmas movies for some reason. I don't know. If you look at like the average average rating of Christmas movies. I feel like they're lower than the average ratings of a lot of other movies. I don't know if people are just really intensely into Christmas movies and if a Christmas movie doesn't make them cry at the end then they don't like it because for me this movie didn't make me cry at the end it just made me really happy and then there was epic music at the end which was kind of insane but I don't know I think that's too low of a score to be honest with you I like this movie much more than a 6.5 I really enjoyed my time and a 6.5 just makes me think of a very average movie and I don't think this movie was very average I thought this movie was so much fun I thought it guided audiences between kids jokes and adult jokes very very, very well. I thought it bridged that line very well. It never became too adult, but it never became too kiddy as well. I thought some of the acting was great. Just some of the comedy in this movie I thought was fantastic. And I thought the idea that the Santa Claus was not just a person, but that it was actually a clause. And there must there might have been hundreds, if not thousands, of people who were Santa Claus before Tim Allen. I thought that was a really cool idea as well. So overall, I don't really see why people I'm definitely more in line with the critics here. I don't really see why people like dislike this movie as much or think this movie is just mediocre like these are the same reviews if, been, if you've been watching my channel and the other reactions especially Star Trek these are the same reviews for the Star Trek movies that people dislike like Star Trek Insurrection has like a 6.5 out of 10 and people really don't like that movie so I am a little concerned as to why people maybe don't like this movie that much. But one thing I hope we can all generally agree on is that the music for this movie was so good. It was just so epic. Why did this movie, why did the movie The Santa Claus have epic dramatic music it was so cool i don't know why it just was so jarring at first i was like wow this music is going hard but then the music never stops going hard and it's awesome even at the end the music's just grand and swelling it's orchestral it's booming in my headphones and it does that throughout the entire thing. Even at the very start of the movie where Tim Allen Scott is driving home and you have that Carol of the Bells, like the people just singing Carol of the Bells in the background. And Carol of the Bells is probably the most intense Christmas song of all time. You can overlay that song with any instrument over any scene and the scene will become 5,000 times more intense. And so just Tim Allen driving home with boom, 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 in the background, it was super intense. And I was like, why? is the movie going so hard right now? Like, why is the movie so dramatic at the moment? And then the movie just kind of never let up. The music was always swelling. The music was always big. I think there definitely were moments where the music was a lot tamer and stuff, but I didn't really notice them because most of the time the music is boom, like in your face intense, but I thought it was really nice sounding as well. You know, it just kind of fit the, I don't know necessarily the epicness. This movie, I don't think really felt super epic, but just kind of, grand like when you're going when they're flying around the world for the first time and stuff like that it's a very big moment it's a very grand moment and magical moment and i think the music and the large soundingness that is a very nice technical term that i just said but the large soundingness of the music really just encapsulated the feeling of people flying for their first time and finally acknowledging the fact that santa is real i don't know it was really cool it was really cool and then the music kind of stayed like that the entire movie where it's magical and grand and it was just a really great soundtrack and then at the very end of the movie during the credits there's this christmas song that plays like christmas will return or something like that and it is such a bop i have never heard that christmas song before but it goes so hard there's a guitar solo in the middle of it there was an epic choir going off there was some singing it is a beautiful christmas song it is so awesome it's so danceable and why is it in the santa claus this movie has 
music that is too good for this movie. Okay, so some of the things that I liked about this movie, and maybe we'll kind of dip my toe into the bad effects with the reindeer a little bit later on, but the sets of this movie I thought were fantastic, especially the North Pole. I really liked how detailed it was. I just liked the walls and how they just had this very specific architecture that reminded me of Christmas and stuff. It was very Christmassy, but also very elfy, but also very kiddy. You know, you got these really nice pastel colors. Obviously, you got kids running around everywhere, and I, I actually really liked the choice to make all the elves kids it's just a very easy way to get around the elves being small because either you do that or you have to do some form of forced perspective thing in camera which takes a lot of planning out or you have to spend a lot of money and somehow digitally make people a lot smaller and in 1994 it probably wouldn't have looked very good or just have aged very well if they would have went down the computer graphics route which means they would have had to have done in camera stuff which is very hard and very time consuming so I think everyone just went what's an easier way what if we just got small people aka kids to be the elves. Boom! I thought it was really good. I thought all the kid actors did a really good job and I thought it was just very smart overall. You know, it kind of kept this Christmas spirit, like this very childlike Christmas spirit that the movie had the entire time, whether it's through Tim Allen's character or through Tim Allen's son or even through the elves. The movie kind of kept this childlike spirit and I liked that the elves were kids because it just, I don't know, it just made everything very sweet and when Tim Allen were talking to the elves, even though the elves are supposed to be older, it was really fun to just imagine how much fun Tim Allen was having on the set and how he's having a lot of fun with these kid actors and stuff like that and how he's talking how these kids basically are talking down to this grown man it was just really fun to watch it was very entertaining I really liked that I loved the world of the North Pole as I said the set was really cool the when they did have like that green screen when Tim Allen was walking and there's like the window to the balcony open and he's like oh is that a polar bear directing traffic that scene the background looks so amazing I just want to fly through that world you know they're under the ice and I really like the blue like I really like that the movie never forgot that they were under the ice so everything's indoors and when they're outside it's like this bluey light like ice light kind of coming in from the top and then you had all these really cool buildings there was always something moving in the background it was just a very immersive world when you were there with either the elves running around or planes or something flying in the sky and just noises kind of coming in like noises of traffic or polar bear growls it was just really nice overall and then even like in the neighborhood and stuff you know you got a lot of snow everywhere you got the houses i just i just enjoyed i enjoyed the sets of this movie obviously the uh cgi with the reindeers flying is dated it just especially at the start it was just it was just not good santa going into the chimney i think looked fine i thought the best visual effect of this movie though was when tim allen changes like he had just shaved and he's looking in the mirror like this and the camera zooms in and i'm like oh this kind of looks like an effect shot you know like there is like a weight to this shot that weren't in any of the other shots something is about to happen and then his face ages i'm gonna say ages it gains a lot of hair and it gains a little bit of weight as well but it it ages ages and he gets the white hair he gets the beard back his hair color changes and he gets a lot more hair on his face and it was a really cool effect they transitioned between shaved tim allen to super hairy tim allen very very well and it just looked fantastic it kind of reminded me of that effect from lord of the rings have you seen the second lord of the rings movie when when theoden is sitting in the throne and he's super old and grizzly and stuff like that the, the guy the king of rohan guy and then he de-ages because gandalf puts his spell on him and he de-ages and it looks fantastic and it reminded me of this and I think this this movie definitely came out first so maybe Lord of the Rings copied the Santa Claus I also just thought the jokes in this movie were really funny there weren't too many like childlike gags there were a couple times where there was a fart sound effect but not a lot not a lot and that was actually really cool a lot of the jokes actually felt fairly mature because a lot of the times the jokes came from Tim Allen going through a situation and reacting to that situation and a lot of times he would make a joke that I think would fly over kids heads obviously there were physical comedy moments you had Santa falling off the roof you had the reindeers being the reindeers you had the elves being the elves you know there were these times where physical comedy were the main factors but for me I think I found a lot more comedy in Tim Allen's performance whereas kids wouldn't find as much comedy in his performance I think they would definitely laugh at things he does but I think a lot of the things that he says would go over kids heads and would make audiences like the adults in the audiences laugh whereas a lot of the more physical comedy stuff would make kids laugh which is why I think this movie actually does a really good job of balancing the really gray line between kids humor 
and adult humor because you don't want to make a kids movie with that pleases adults way too much because then it's just not a kids movie anymore then it's just an adults movie you may have just make a more mature movie at that point but you don't want to make a kids movie necessarily that is insanely kiddie because then parents are just not going to enjoy themselves even though kids will and maybe that's the focus so maybe that's more okay than making a kids movie more adult but this movie does a really good job of making both parties laugh at different aspects of the movie with Tim Allen's more mature joke and business related stuff and even even some of the movie quotes like there's a James Bond quote in this movie which is kind of crazy from a kid which would make the adults laugh and kids probably wouldn't understand but I really like I really like how the jokes came around in this movie I thought it was really smart very clever and I thought a lot of them landed I thought they were really funny overall okay so let's just get into the cast I'm just going to talk about Tim Ellen Ellen Tim Ellen what am I saying here Tim Allen Alan and Eric Lloyd. Eric Lloyd as Charlie. Man, he looks a lot older in his picture now. And he's got a lip he's got a lip piercing. That's kind of crazy. But I thought he was pretty good in this movie. You know, I don't think he was the worst kid actor of all time. I don't think he was the best kid actor of all time. I think he was just pretty good in this movie. I could feel the love he had for Scott. I thought that was really nice as well. The joy he had when he was riding the sleigh, the joy he had thinking about that his dad was Santa Claus. I I did feel that for the kids, so maybe he actually did a pretty good job. But yeah, overall, I thought he was a really good child actor, and I thought his performance with Tim Allen and the way that they interacted with each other and stuff, I thought was really good overall. And finally, Tim Allen as Scott Calvin. He was amazing in this movie. I've seen a few Tim Allen movies, and I think this one actually may be one of my favorites. I don't know. I just think the energy he brought to this role, the enthusiasm that was in every step that he had and stuff, it just seemed like he was having so much fun on set being Santa Claus. The jokes that he made were really, really funny. His comedic timing is really, really good. And yeah, I just thought he was super charming in this movie and very entertaining. And I thought he did an amazing job. And yeah, that is my reaction and review to The Santa Claus, the 1994 Christmas movie. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. I think that is the last Christmas slash holiday movies for the these holidays and yeah I really enjoyed them I know it was only three and I know last year I did a whole bunch more but I'm definitely in the middle of a few other franchises at the moment so I didn't have time for a bunch of Christmas movies so sorry about that hope it isn't too disappointing but anyways happy holidays everyone I hope you are all having a really really nice time and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction